Hey printmakers, I'm going to be showing you how to print a block at home using a wooden spoon. Uh, I have the same block that I used for the frottage printing demo and I'm just inking it up with black. It helps when you're printing by hand to have your ink maybe just a little bit on the looser side. Um, I'm using oil-based ink and I'm actually um, modifying it with Vaseline. Okay. So I'm using the same thin paper that I was using for the frottage printing as well. And I'm just going to set this on top. And I'm gonna use a wooden spoon. Now this is a sushi rice spoon, um, but any wooden spoon is great. And I'm just gonna start good pressure on the back, just kind of like with the frottage where you're using a crayon to uh, get an impression. Here you're, you're using the wooden spoon to transfer your ink. Now some of you guys have been using your brayers or a rolling pin. That can work too, but the spoon is nice because you can really get in specific areas. And it tends to print a little better. Okay, so pretty good impression with just a spoon. A lot of relief printmakers out there actually don't have presses and they do printing by hand. So uh, as long as you're using a thinner paper, it's gonna work great. I know some people were having trouble finding papers. So I'm gonna show you also how to print on fabric. I'm just gonna ink up my block again. Same deal. So this is just a kind of a thin cotton fabric. Um, I wouldn't get anything like stretchy necessarily, at least not at the beginning when you're just learning how to do it. Something just regular cotton should be great. Uh, I'm using, this is actually an old sheet. And I'm also going to use the spoon here. Trying not to push too hard because um, sometimes it can move the fabric around a little bit. So I'm just trying to be careful not to be overly exuberant in how I'm printing this. But the cool thing about printing on fabric is you can go back in and embroider on it if you wanted to. You could make some kind of tapestry piece you could bead on it there's all sorts of things that you could do with fabric that you can't really do with paper you could print on fabric and make a bag or some other functional item but it prints well on both of these materials so hopefully uh, that is helpful to you guys as you do your experimenting again printing um, with the frottage method where you're using a crayon or a pencil is perfectly acceptable for this but i know some of you guys got some ink and you wanted to try printing uh, your block at home so hopefully you'll find that helpful have fun guys